new report says the amount of time that we spend listening to music around the world increased over the past year. Listeners spent an average 20.1 hours a week listening to music. That was up from 18.4 hours in 2021. Now, 46% of those surveyed pay for audio streaming services, so that's like Apple Music or Spotify. Surprisingly, 12% of people said that they had purchased a physical CD in the last month. Okay, with me now is John Blewett from the International Federation of the Phonographic Industry, which produced this report. John, very good to see you here. Um, how, how much extra music is that that we're actually listening to then? What does it equate to? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's the equivalent of about 34 three-minute tracks each, each week. So that's the time that the, that the listening has gone up over the course of the last year. Well, that's quite significant. And is it in a particular direction or style or I mean you know do, do you how much can we can we know about that I think what's what the study shows really and we've looked at across uh, 22 different countries so it's a, it gives us a really good global snapshot mm. I think what it shows is really that we're listening to music in almost every part of our lives so it's soundtracking almost all of our lives and across different formats as well um, right. Okay. So that's the. Is that the why? Um, because I mean, you wonder what is it that's making us turn to music. Let's be honest. We're living in a pretty gloomy world at the moment, <laughs> and maybe it's a distraction from other things around us. I think so. I think around um, over fifty percent actually said that music was essential to their mental health. For example, so they've identified that as a as a reason why music is so supportive. But I think more broadly, what you've seen is a the the shift to digitization. So music is available digitally through streaming and through other technologies, which means that it's, it, we're able to access it in so many more ways. I think the other thing you've seen is record labels really actively licensing music to new and emerging services. And as a consequence, like I've just said, whether you're exercising, whether you're in your car, whether you're on short form video apps, you've got the access to licensed music. And in the meantime, we continue getting this growing trend for vinyl, for something touchy-feely about your, your favourite music. I think that's really interesting. Alongside this increasing engagement in digital music, what you have is people's continued love of a physical product. And I think people feel strongly that you still want to hold something and pick something up and, and put something on a physical player. So it continues to be really popular. And is this a trend? I mean, is it going that way or is it, is it, have we peaked now? In terms of vinyl consumption? Well, no, actually, I meant generally in terms of listening to I music. Think, I think we'll see it continue to increase. And I think that's fascinating because I think you'll have, well, short form video apps is a good example. A couple of years ago when we did that study, services like TikTok weren't even really around in the public consciousness. Now there is a key way that we engage with music. So I think you'll see more of these types of services emerging and as a consequence, more opportunities to, to listen to music. It's very interesting stuff. John, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you. Thanks, David.